Hello, I'm Lisa Rana, and I have a yummy Christmas card idea for today's Assemble This video. I'm so excited about this coffee or cocoa cup image in this set. It's perfect for warm wishes this holiday season or all year round. I'm featuring the It's a Mug Hug November 2020 Sentiment Kit from Unity Stamp Company. I just love that warm whipped topping cup with all the great sentiments in this kit that you can use all year round. I've gathered my supplies and I can't wait to get started assembling this card. I'm just covering my card base with this pretty plaid pattern paper. It is a discontinued pattern paper pack, but there's lots of great options out there. Just grab your favorite pattern papers and layer them up. I'm angling this top layer and then just trimming it down to the size of my card front. I just love the way that subtle pattern layers over the plaid background. And then I'm using the tops of my paper. I love these strips. They are coordinating to the paper pack and I just can't throw them away. So I always save them and I'm just layering them up as an accent piece down in the bottom corner of my card here. I'm using some fun patterns that just coordinate with the plaid and that, I guess, houndstooth pattern paper. I'm being careful to make sure that that hole is off the side of my card and that way when I trim them down I have solid strips of pattern paper. I've already stamped out my coffee cup or mug and I'm just going to tack that down into my mini misty. And then I have a sentiment from the Glimmering Greetings stamp set. The Holly Jolly is the only one in this kit that actually fits within the, the mug. So that's why I'm using this one. I really love that Holly Jolly saying. So I loaded that up in my Mini Misty. I'm using an acrylic sheet to get the proper placement. Just going to replace that and then stamp my sentiment using some Royal Red Hero Arts ink. Ooh, that's so pretty. Love that. Next, we're going to color in the image with some Copic markers. I grabbed quite a few, but these are the colors I used in the end. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with the, the coloring of this image, and so that's why I ended up grabbing so many colors. I thought about coloring the mug in like it had coffee or hot cocoa, um, but I changed my mind at the end, and I'm just doing more of an outline look. I really like the red pop of that holly jolly sentiment, so I didn't want to lose it by coloring in the background uh, with a dark chocolate color. So I'm just going to outline the image of the, the mug with this uh, light, light tan color. just creates enough color and uh, interest to that, to that mug. It's just perfect. I love this type of coloring anyway with Copics. Uh, my skills are kind of limited, so when I can do something simple like this and create uh, something really pretty, it just makes me happy. Added a bit of foam adhesive to the back of that mug and then just popped it up. And then just to pull in one more color, I'm going to use some enamel dots in navy. And I'm just going to do a couple at the bottom and then three up top. I just like the way that that creates a little bit more movement and then pulls in one more color to the card. Just kind of finishes everything off. So here is the finished card. I just love the fun design layering those pattern papers in a bit of an angle. And that yummy warm drink with the holly jolly sentiment for the holidays. And then using up the scraps of the pattern paper and enamel dots just really finishes everything off. I have another look using the same layout. This time I'm using some brighter, happier colors in pattern papers. To, to make more of a birthday card. And I filled in that mug. This time I did color it all in and I like the way that the sentiment kind of pops against that background. 
and then one more version of this card colored in like coffee or hot cocoa again with a merry have a merry day sentiment this is kind of a, a just because card during the holiday season or a Christmas card whichever you know, works both ways I just like the way that this layout worked out as well as usual, I'll have all the supplies linked in the description of this video. If you have any questions or sweet comment posts below, I love to read each and every one. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you were inspired and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye!